Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about evidence informed practice, which is also referred to as evidence based practice or evidence based medicine. Um, so these are three terms that mean essentially the same thing. Uh, so most clinicians use these terms interchangeably depending on how they learned it or depending on what setting they're in. Uh, so I want to tell you about what this means. Um, evidence informed practice or evidence based medicine or evidence based practice is an important clinical competency for all healthcare professionals. So in any facet, any area of the healthcare profession, um, whether you might be a, a trainer, strength and conditioning specialist, maybe you're a dentist or a surgeon, or in any area, nursing, any area of healthcare, it's important to have the ability to integrate research with the patient presentation and clinical expertise to determine the, the best course of treatment or the best way to proceed with that person. Um, so it's the incorporation of evidence to guide clinical decision making. Now, I want to point out that evidence does not strictly mean research evidence. Uh, what we mean is incorporating all of these different aspects to come to the best, uh, most appropriate treatment plan for this individual who is in front of you. Um, so you need to consider the best available evidence from research. So that's where you think about the hierarchy of research and, and making sure that you're drawing from the best evidence that is available. Um, but you're also blending that with the patient's presentation and their preferences and values. That's really important. You know, we're not just going to say, well, here's what the research says. I don't care if you like this or think this is something that will work in your life. You know, we have to care. That's equally important. So we need to consider the patient presentation, preferences, and values. We also consider the clinician's experience. So maybe a certain clinician has had a lot of experience of a certain treatment plan being especially effective with certain groups. So we do factor in what is your experience in working with this type of condition or with this type of patient. And the less clinical experience that you have in that area, the more you might lean on the evidence from research. And then you also consider the history of the profession. So that's more applicable in, for certain professions than others. Uh, but an example could be in traditional Chinese medicine, for example. Um, so there might be some evidence from research, but there's also a couple thousand years of history of the profession and how uh, different clinicians in that profession have addressed different um, conditions and patients and, and use different treatment plans. So that might apply more in some professions than others, but it is an important consideration in some professions. Okay, so evidence-informed practice means that we are carefully balancing and blending the available research, the information that you can gather from the research, and consider the higher quality research and weigh that more heavily over the lower quality research. And we're blending that with the patient's presentation and beliefs and preferences, the clinician's experience, and the history of the profession. All right, thanks so much for watching.